All right, and we're live. And I've been meaning to do this for some time. Tuan here uh, hit uh, Stack's Twitter uh, by storm uh, later, earlier in October uh, with the Stackathon submission that he made that we're looking at right now, Link Stacks. Um, and there's a public GitHub, there's the, the kind of functional application, but I actually wanted uh, to want to give a little bit of the background of um, what it was like making, what are the various components, uh, what it is that he learned, because uh, at the team here at Hero, we got really excited about what people were making. So uh, Tuan, uh, introduce yourself and let us know what is what is Linkstacks? Sure, so thanks for the introduction. My name is Tuan and I'm a front-end developer. And you know, just by a chance, I got the, I saw that there is like this stackathon made by Max and I'm super glad that I got a chance to, to work on that. So special thanks for you. And this is app, so it's it's live. It's live on linkstack.xyz. Uh, and if you're curious, like how it works, then there's also the GitHub repo. It's all open source. It, so you can have a look on how it works. Or we can and, just and it's basically yeah. it's um it's basically a like a kind of profile uh, card that uh, you maintain the server, but in order to actually edit it, in order to claim your your um, link stack like uh, kind of um, uh, like subdomain and actually edit it, you have to use your hero wallet, right? So um, yeah, can you show us? Yeah, show us your profile. Exactly. So once you hit the site, you can see that there is like this authenticate. So once you click on that, uh, the wallet will uh, the hero wallet will pop up, and you can choose like to sign in with one of your wallet. So in my case, I'm choosing this one. I'm not sure if it's a good one, so let's see. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we are signing in. Uh, and then you can go to your profile. So in my case, I've already just, uh, added some profile information, but if you are new to the uh, site, then there is like all of the fields will be empty. So you can fill your name, what you do, something about you, and then your profile image. And then also like your socials. So I would say that this is something similar to Linktree where you can you know, have your profile. And the cool thing about that is that you can share your profile with the others. So if I click on this profile preview, you can see that the domain is the link, uh, link stacks, but you can see over here, there is my BNS domain. And the app itself knows that if, it's, if this, this is a BTC account, then it's gonna fetch data for that specific person. So as you can see, I can share this with uh, on Twitter and people can check out my profile. Yeah, awesome. Or, um, yeah, uh, and, and actually we have like a couple of the, the hero um, um, you know, folks uh, using this. You said Mark Hendrickson, the guy who made the uh, hero wallet, uh, chief developer is uh, is using this for his um, his, profile, uh, which is really cool. Exactly, like I saw Mark using that. So if you go to his profile and click on his uh, link, then you can see that it's uh, that he's using link stacks. Cool. So let's um, tell me uh, a little bit of uh, how you made it, um, because you not only are using, um, uh, you know, the Hero Wallet integrations with uh, Stacks.js, you're also using Gaia. So this information, this data is not stored completely essentially it's also stored on our, our decentralized storage which um yeah some folks have like questions about tell me how long did it take for you to make this and um maybe we could poke through some of the like major components on the the github mm -hmm. sure so i think like it took me so the way uh so the app it was made with uh next.js and uh, then i use like tailwind for the stylings so for the components i already uh, have some of the components from different projects. So I kind of reuse them. The thing that I need to learn was like how to integrate it with the uh, stack ecosystem and how to use the SDK, you know, the things like how you can sign up with the wallet and how you can read and store data to Gaia. But I would say like, it took me about like a day ish, a day and a half to make the app work. And then the rest of the time was like, uh, okay, so I made an app, I need to you know, let the world know about it, right? So it took me like almost like a whole day to come up with a tweet storm. <laughs> uh, it was worth it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that's how I heard about it. And you tagged me in the stackathon and, and then I was just looking through, um, yeah, all that you made. So 
yeah, uh, what are we looking at? Yeah, so I can show you like, uh, we can go through quickly through the code base. Uh, mm -hmm. I think like for most of the people, they will be interested in the package JSON because you can see over there like uh, what I'm using actually to build a project. So if you want to build like something similar, then this could be like a nice template or like a use case to see like how you can build something similar. So uh, yeah, as I mentioned before, for the stylings, I use Tailwind. Uh, the framework is the next JS. And then the interesting part, which is the stack stuff, uh, you can see that I'm using the stacks connect and stacks connect react, which is for the connecting with the wallet. So, you know, you can sign in. And then we got like stacks profile, uh, which is for the profile things. And then we got like stack storage, which is mainly for interacting with the Gaia. So you can store uh, information. And then if somebody is going onto your profile, so it can get the data of your profile. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Sure. yeah, and, and can, you, it. Yeah, you, uh, can you show us like where else like, um, uh, if, if there's anywhere else you're handling any of the like uh, the the yeah the hero wallet information so once you import it into um there uh mm -hmm. yeah like show us like any any other kind of like learnings or um uh uh you know, where it is that you're like handling that that wallet information for instance or the, the guy storage information yep yep so for example let's uh, we can go through how i'm storing the profile uh so mm -hmm. if you go to the edit form uh, that X, S, uh, PSX, which is basically like the form you can see on the screen. Mm -hmm. So I can show you like what, uh, how it works under the hood once you click on the update profile. But basically it's, uh, so I made this safe profile method. Uh, and once we go into it, you can see that the, I'm using the storage API from stack storage. And uh, what is essentially doing is that I'm passing the profile. And what we also need to do is that the Gaia also gives us the possibility to make it private. Let's say you want to make some data private on the decentral uh, on the storage and you don't want have you want to have it, you don't want to have it private. So there's like a way how you can use it using this is public. So in mm -hmm. our case, we're making it true because we want to make it public so anyone can see our profile, right? Mm -hmm. And then there is like this fetch profile, which is using for getting to retrieve the data from the gas storage. And for that, I'm using this storage method, uh, storage.get file. And what could be also interesting is the authentication through the wallet. So there is like this auth.ts, which essentially handles the authentication with the hero wallet. Uh, so you can see that there is like this uh, connect. You need to define like the app information. And then we have like methods like, you know, get user data. This is super useful for once you sign in, then for example, you want to show this uh, uh, user wallet or the BNS name. And this uh, method, fetch first name is actually uh, used um, yeah, let me think what this actually does. Uh, oh yeah, so I'm passing in the, yeah, I was, one of the things that I was struggling to make was to, how can you get the BNS name if you only, if you only know the world address, right? So mm -hmm. if you look into this, you are passing the address name, the network, and it just, and it will return you the BNS name. So this is the way how you can show yeah. the BNS name if the user has it. So and then like let me, yeah. yeah, I'll look back at that. Is that, um, and is that a, uh, a stacks or a hero API <clears throat> call that's being made? Yeah, exactly. This is like the API call from stacks. So you can see that it's like mm -hmm. V1 address it stacks. Uh, and I'm using this network, uh, method and it's like from mm -hmm. stacks the network. So you can use this, uh, library to call the stacks API as well. Mm -hmm. Great. Um, really cool. And then this is hosted on, on Versal and, uh, and uh, people can use it now. Uh, how many, how many users do you have? Do you, do you know? Actually, that's the thing. Like I, I wasn't able to figure out like how many users I have because it's everything on the Gaia storage. So which is decentralized <laughs> and it's kind of hard to track, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, maybe at a future time we could find out, uh, how many users you have, but, uh, awesome. Yeah. 
thank you so much to one. Is there any other, um, uh, anything else you want uh, me or, or, or folks watching to know about, you know, the app or how you made it or yeah, anything else? Exactly. Like any, if you have like any questions, either if you're like, for example, if you're starting out and you need like any help, you know, you can DM me and yeah, sure. If you find like any bugs on the app, feel free to open a PR. <laughs> on <the GitHub>. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Otherwise. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Yeah, absolutely, Tawan. Thank you so much. And uh, we'll see everyone at the next uh, Stackathon. Awesome. All right. Bye. Bye-bye.